Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at two questions I got a lot via my uh, comments section for one specific video, and it's a video about how to manually program a flight plan. In this case, it's programming a flight plan for the Airbus A320. So let's go inside the aircraft and let's say discuss those questions a little bit further. So the first question I got from someone is, okay, hey, is there a way to delete the flight plan? Well. Unfortunately, in the default A320, it's a little bit hard. And the reason for that is that it looks like that they didn't implement, uh, I would say, all the code. Because if you would press the clear button here, I would press from and to over here, it will say it's not allowed. Based on testing with other aircrafts, it works in other aircrafts, right? So it works in the uh, paid versions and uh, consumer versions of several other aircrafts. So it looks like that it's not yet implemented. So maybe we, you need to wait for the Indie Buildings version because the Indie Buildings version has some additional features, which likely also could include a feature to delete the fly plan directly from here. For now, there are two ways to do it. The first thing is the most easiest way, to be honest, and that's simply exit uh, your uh, flight, go back to the uh, world map, and then simply create a flight plan from there, right? So by simply only selecting, I would say in this case, likely uh, a departure airport and a destination airport and leave everything out. That will result in this, right? That will result in that the from and to are populated, but nothing else is being populated. And you can simply would say start from scratch planning your flight. The other way is a little bit harder. And for to do that, you need to go to the flight plan and you need to do a nasty thing because you need to press the clear button and then one by one, you need to delete every individual waypoint. Don't forget that you need to press the insert button. It looks a little bit weird. I am 100% with you, but inserting it in this case will remove the weekend from the flight plan. If I would press cancel, I'll let me show that with the next one. It will not remove it, but will simply undo the change. As you can see All right so two ways to clean up the flight plan one is them of them is simply go to the flight plan uh, button over here in the mcdu and then clearing them one by one and the other one is simply exit uh, the simulator then start from the world map planning your flight there with only departure and destination over there then go to flight simulator and it will result in that all those entries will be cleared right you likely will only have uh, the departure and the destination, and maybe the D cell, uh, which also added to the flight plan uh, by default. Now, the second question was about airways, right? So, is there a way that you can add airways to Flight Simulator 2020, and then especially the A320? Well, based on some testing and based again on some um, trial and error on uh, using uh, some other aircrafts, it should work. However, based on some comments in the fora from Flight Simulator 2020, it looks like that some of the functionality might have been broken in the default A320. Normally, if you are planning your flight, right, you can do it either using a waypoint, then you will use this nice button over here, or you can use it, do it using airways. The advantage of those airways is that they will include multiple uh, waypoints, but saves you a lot of time, let's say, planning your flight. So I will press airways uh, for now. And then you see what happens, right? So in this case, what I did is I imported a plan created using SimBrief because that's currently the only workaround as far as I know is create a flight plan using SimBrief, then save it in the flight simulator format and load it on the world map. And that will ensure that the airways are loaded here correctly. So, or at least the, I would say correctly, um, based on some testing, it's not 100% correct, but at least it shows it over here, right? Because if you would show up the uh, flight plan in Navigraph or in SimBrief, you would see that it's not entirely correct, right? So let me show you a quick demo for that. So I'm using the Navigraph Charge plugin, which requires the Navigraph sub subscription. So be aware that you might not have this one. Uh, if you want to have it, you fortunately need to have the subscription. 
But in this case, I'm going to use the uh, SimBrief OFP. And the SimBrief OFP is something you can get by going to uh, the uh, SimBrief website and then generating a flight plan and then everything should be okay -ish, right? So this is the plan, as you can see, and it also contains a lot of information. Uh, but now it's the wrong option to zoom in. So let me scroll down first and then zoom in because that's easier to show you. And if you zoom in, you will find an option which is called routing. And you can see that the mouse is, I would say, kind of frozen. So let me use the other option. So here you can see that this flight plan contains airways, right? The Zulu Zulu 0003, which is also mentioned here. Then IPL, which is a beacon or a VOR. Could be a VOR, could also be another thing like NDB uh, or Tarkan. Then we've got Juliet 18, which is again an airway, then GBN, again a beacon, then Juliet 50, which is an airway, etc. Right? The good thing is that I would say SimBrief is able to identify those things and plan your flight. Uh, the bad thing, of course, is that you can't simply program the here because it will simply be ignored, right? So if I go to return and if I would try to edit, right? Let me show you. I can go to this one and then I go to Airways and simply use the uh, buttons over here, zero, Zulu Zulu, and then triple zero three. And if you would press the option here, it will likely say not in database. So if you get that error, normally it means that you either made a typo or it's unable to find it in the database. Uh, so check what you typed in. And if you are Hansen sure it's correct, then you might hit the same issue I, as I did hit uh, when testing this in the A320. So unfortunately, I would say Asobo and I would say several forum members are still debating if it's a real issue. Uh, I do think it's an issue because it works for the, uh, of, I would say, paid versions and community versions of other aircrafts. So if you want to use those airways, then you could choose to fly in the 787 or 747 because in those two aircrafts, it works. Also in small aircrafts, it works. Because if you love flying an airliner, then you can use that one. So with that, we're at the end of this video, right? In this video, we looked at two items. One of them is, okay, hey, how can I delete the complete flight plan? Unfortunately, short answer is, well, there's no easy way. There's only the hard way, or let's say starting from scratch. And the second question was, okay, hey, can you use the MCDU to uh, use airways for flight planning. Unfortunately, it looks like it's broken, but however, you can give it a test yourself and then see how it works. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos and posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.